Okay, okay. <clears throat> All right, greetings, greetings, greetings. I hope the volume is okay. I'm gonna ask everyone to bear with us as we get going here with our YouTube channel. We don't have microphones yet. We are trying out a new camera. So I'm hoping I'm able to project and uh, the camera is able to hear us. So I'd like to say greetings. Welcome everyone back to our Back to Nature Organic Farms YouTube channel. I'm standing here with none other the gentleman you have met before. Uh, none other than Mr. Mwangi. Greetings, Mr. Mwangi. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Doing great? Yes, yes. Fantastic. Well, with that, we are back, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, give you another episode, a small peek into some of the operations here at Back to Nature Organic Farms. It's a very interesting journey. There are going to be many different components that we'll go into. As a matter of fact, Mwangi, I think the camera might be a little far away. Yes. This might be a little unprofessional, but let me bring the camera closely, guys. Hey, hey, that's a really good looking guy there, huh? All right, let me see Mwangi, make sure that we're able to document. We want them to make sure that we can, they can see what we're doing. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with that, we're giving an episode today and we have the camera pointed down just a little bit so we can go into uh, showing, some of you saw on the Watermeyer video that we did, the aspect that dealt with the cultured bacteria and microorganisms that we are growing, that we are culturing here in order to build up the soil, in order to rehabilitate the soil, in order to give the nutrients to the soil. Either the video before this or the video after this, you hear me talking uh, with a gentleman, an expert, a technician around fish ponds and how we use the fish, wa the fish waste to also bring more nutrients into the soil. But this particular episode is talking about, Mr. Mwangi, this interesting culture that we have created. And this particular culture of bacteria, healthy bacteria and healthy microorganisms, we have now had in this particular 200 liter drum yes. for the last, how long has it been here now? For a period of two weeks. For about two weeks, we've been growing. It's been a little back to nature, um, Laboratory. Can we call it a natural laboratory? Yes. Okay, great. Now, Mr. Mwangi, we're going to open. I, when Watermaya was here, we had Watermaya smell a little bit and how it looked and things along those lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up. It's been culturing. We've been stirring it a little bit. And uh, what we're going to have a chance to do now is get a chance to see a little bit more of what Mother Nature has been able to put together in a beautiful, in a wonderful, in a healthy, organic way, a back to nature way. And so, let me have a chance to bring the camera a little bit closer so you can see what we have a chance to see in there. And uh, excuse, we don't have our editing skills fully in place yet, but don't worry, it's gonna get better. It's gonna get better. Bear with us, be patient with us as we go through this journey. So Mr. Mwangi, tell us a little bit of what we're seeing inside there. Tell us a little bit about this growing process that we've had. Here we have the, the leaves from Mexican marigold. Lantana, Mexican marigold leaves. Lantana camara. Lantana camara leaves. We have molasses. The molasses is in there. We have microorganism bacteria. Microorganic bacteria okay. and the organisms that are there that have been mixed in that we culture. Yes. Now, the here on multi purpose thing we usually get the chlorophyll of the leaves the green catcher yeah as you okay see. so the green folio that we've used yes the so, idea of mixing them in and very specific ones what we yes. will call the, in a sense the um more uh, medicinal yes. uh, plants yes so we were able to put them in there yeah. in order to extract some of the medicinal qualities and compounds that they have in their green leaves, the chlorophyll and the rest. Yes. So go ahead. Now, after putting all those, you have to close this tank for without allowing any air. So that's why we closed it with uh, we have a manila paper. Okay. It's tight so as to to keep out the aeration. Yes. And to have a well sealed to allow the bacteria and microorganisms to grow. 
as you can see as I'm uh, turning this round there is fermentation which so, is occurring so the fermentation has occurred yes and it have a very pleasant smell beautiful smelling um, concoction yes. <laughs> as you excellent can see. Wow what are you gonna do there you're gonna be a little brave my brother yes so you're gonna dip in there and have a chance to do something that yes I would never ever dare anyone <laughs> to do with any kind of chemical inputs that you might buy or get yes. um, let me swing this around my brothers let me back it up a little bit all right so tell us a little bit of what you now have in your hand the, what is the mixture that has been uh, uh, put together there? Here we have the microorganism mixture. Okay. Which can be used to rehabilitate our soil. Okay. It can also be used as a foliar. Okay. Instead of you buying foliars from the synthetic chemicals, we have our organic foliar. By the way, it is very sweet. You can have a... Well, I don't know if it will be that sweet, my brother. Oh, boy. Yeah, it is very he, sweet. He, he tasted it. Yeah. <laughs> is, is, is that good? Now, yes. guys, let me, let me, <laughs> let's get a little bit of a closer look at what this particular mixture is about. And he just tasted it. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm a pretty brave, back to nature, uh, wellness warrior myself. Let me see if <laughs> I can catch me there. <laughs> Say a prayer for me. <laughs> Hmm. 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 Not bad. Actually, you know, funny enough, Mr. Mwangi. Yes. What it tastes like, I can taste the fermentation. Yes. That has happened inside there. It actually has like um you know how you have the uh a fizz, almost like a soda, yes. um the water. What do they call that water? The, the sparkling water, yes. seltzer water. So in that regards, um, this then, Mr. Mwangi, what happens now once we've gotten to this stage? Yes. It's healthy enough that we can actually drink it. It's yes. healthy enough that we can taste it. Yes. Uh, it has all the wonderful microorganisms and bacteria. And now let me back the camera up a little bit. And I want uh, us to sh then show them what we do with this particular mix guys bear with us we're gonna get better with the editing camera uh stuff and everything all right so once we've been able now mr Mwangi, do we leave the leaves in there what do we do with the green foliar that was uh that was that we mixed in there now that the uh chlorophyll has been extracted yes. all right there's no problem when the chlorophyll is being extracted yes now this green folia uh, mm -hmm. talking a little bit louder make sure they, they can hear now you now when the chlorophyll is being extracted now the green folia we have do it like this way this one can be used for compost manure compost let's bring it a little closer to the camera so this is some of the leftovers from it was the lantana camara camara that we had in there uh, it was, um, what else did we, Mexican, Mexican marigold that we mixed in there. It was several other different of these medicinal plants, uh, plants that were high in certain compounds and chlorophyll that now that has been extracted. Yes. And what is then left over, we're able to use for? For compost manure. Composting manure, you saw in the composting heap. Uh, that will be showing another day, sort of the process of how to mix a compost. In that regard so we extract we can come back here so we take out all of the different green folia folia that we used yes. and we have a chance to strain it now once uh, we won't do that just in case for time we'll do that later but once all of it has been extracted what then do we do with what is left over I now, think yes Now, for our microorganism culture, we need to store it in a very clean place, like this big gel can, which is very, which is clean. Okay, go, go ahead, just make sure you speak up so that we can hear, everyone can hear you. 
we put it in this jelly can which is very clean so as not to allow any bacteria to interfere with our microorganism. So we don't want it to be com contaminated yeah. once it's prepared. Yes. Okay. So and we prefer putting it in uh, this jelly can. Jerry can because it can be closed so as an airtight, yes, letting no air, air inside. There is no aeration that will take place. Okay, we don't have to put it now because I do see a few leaves in there. We want to make sure we strained out yes. all the leaves completely uh, that are used. Then once we are able to um, put it in the jerry cans and able to store it, the culture still continues to grow. It still remains and this yes. is a mother no, culture. Nice. And a mother culture means that we have actually increased the amount of initial organism, microorganisms and bacteria so that we could end up getting a strong um, a stronger initial mother culture let me just bring let me see if I can bring this in a little closer uh, so that it can see our handsome faces let me come into the shot all right so now once we have an opportunity this is off so scoot over that way a little bit let me see here. all right it looks a little better so are we in? All right. So once we're able then to strain it, we're able to store it as a mother culture, and now we can use it to start new cultures yes. so that we never run out yes. of this particular, uh, like a healthy uh, tea microorganisms that we can apply to the soil. Yes. Now, Mr. Mwangi, once they're there, how, what is the process that we go to when we now want to apply this on the soil? What do we do from there? Okay, when you need to apply it from the, to the soil, this is a uh, 500 millimeters liter. Okay. And this is used for 20, 20 liters knapsack sprayer. Ah, uh, the knapsack. Yes. All right, they're going to, that's what we're going to show in the next episode. Actually now applying this onto the field, onto the soil. And so you get a chance to see the knapsack that we're the 20 liter knapsack that we're able to use that we then are able to dilute yes. 500 to 20 liters 500 milliliters of our healthy bacteria and microorganisms mix it in with 20 liters of water in, a, in that particular ratio and then we're able to take it directly into the field yes excellent Wangi. well I want to thank you thank you so very much for sharing with us, with us a little bit today of what we actually go ahead and get into when it comes down to approaching agriculture sustainably, yes. agroecologically, they call it regenerative agriculture, organically, back to nature, back to the natural way of how to be able to do things without the chemicals, without uh, so much of the other inputs that are causing so much pain, suffering, death in the people's lives and do this in a healthy way and yet get just as good as, if not sometimes better, results than if you're using some of the artificial things that we're put, uh, putting into the ground. So uh, this is one of the components. We'll be talking about several other ways that we are adding nutrients, building up uh, in terms of restoring the soil, yes. uh, getting a chance to um, uh, find ways to avoid working in, uh, in terms of the negative things so that we can work in harmony with Mother Nature. So Mr. Mwangi, I'll let you uh, close out with any final words to the Back to Nature Organic Farms family, community, network who are watching us here today. Okay, thank you for watching to us. For watching to us. What I can say, let's 